trying time because I was torn between the two sides. You know, at first I had my job as the police captain over the investigation division, but I was also worried about my friends in the ER. Police falling back on their training to deal with a Lubbock man after a deadly shooting. And it is good to see you all again. I'm Brian Mudd. I'm Lauren Motter. Lubbock Police releasing more information today on that Sunday morning shooting that left one man dead. KMAX Amy Cazera has been following this for us, and she joins us live outside Covenant with the very latest. Amy. Yeah, Lauren, Brian, officials say 34-year-old Robert Baker was arrested outside a Covenant emergency room after he shot a man at the Market Street location on 19th and Quaker. When he got to the hospital, he opened fire on his own vehicle, and at that point, a Lubbock police officer, who was working security at the time, heard those shots and arrested him. This is exactly what we have uh, LPD officers in for, is, is to be able to respond quickly in these types of situations. After shooting 44-year-old Jason Holloway outside the Market Street store on 19th and Quaker, Robert Baker drove to the nearby United Express gas station and shot at the building. Court documents say a witness then followed Baker and saw he went to the Covenant emergency room, where he then opened fire on his own vehicle. An off-duty police officer working security was then notified of those gunshots and arrested him. We, have an, we had an officer that was working at the time in the, in the emergency room and uh, when the shots rang out. Uh, so the Covenant staff did exactly what they were supposed to do. Thanks to that officer and the partnership Covenant has with the Lubbock Police Department, Baker never made it inside the hospital and no one else was hurt. In this instance, we were very fortunate. It worked just like we would hope that it worked. Uh, and so it, it's, a, it's always a planning process and we're always trying to learn from each in instant incident. This is really close to home though and so uh, we're just very fortunate that nobody else was hurt. And according to court documents, Baker did not know his victim and he told the police that he was going to Covenant to admit himself for COVID-19 symptoms. Right now, we know that Baker has no criminal history and he worked at Rawls Golf Course. Right now, he's being charged with murder and his bond is set at $350,000. At Covenant Health, Amy Cazera, KMAC News.